Hello everyone, Narwhal Pro is back after my long absence. Sorry that I have been gone for quite some time. But I've been really busy with other things and quite frankly, YouTube wasn't on my priorities list. I mean, I did try to get back into it, but I had a lot of stuff to do. So luckily, I am going to be making this command block episode, I mean, episode 2 after episode 1, which is common sense. So this episode is simply how to spawn blocks for other players in adventure maps or items or anything. So here's the most basic trap, or not really trap, the most basic device you could do. So I just got some TNT, the, uh, the, but the whole idea is you want to, if you know any command, it's, it's slash give and then your name and then any coding in this case, for the item ID for TNT is 46. And then this number, the number 1, translates to how many pieces of TNT will be spawned. But if you're wondering what at P is, rather than putting someone's specific name, it puts in the nearest player. Since there's this is a single player world, it would only work for at P. So no matter what I would put, it would always spawn for just for me. But on multiplayer servers, you could have it say for at R, that means it would target a random player, or at A, which would target every single player. So, never really anything special. So, here we go. Here's something that I could see actually being more of use. So, let me put that there. This is something I could see being a better of use in custom maps. So, you walk through here, and you get all these tools. So, Remember, I will be putting a link to all the tool IDs, all the item IDs in the description, so keep a look out for that. But what you do, this is pretty simple. You don't, if you want to just spawn in one item, you just don't type in anything. But this is for, to, this is for tools and swords. I tend to like spawning in stone tools, but that's just me. So this simple device rigs up, goes all the way back, and extends to all them. Rather than having the need for repeaters, I just made sure it could all fit and also keep its, you know, keep the redstone working rather than going more than 15 bucks. But repeaters, repeaters, people like to use those because they know it's going to go in order. So to spawn this one and then this one, this one and this one. Because I used it over there so it would tell, so it would pop up for the text. To make it look like it was go it was popping up like first you'd get the stone sword, then the stone shovel, the pickaxe, then the axe, rather than just getting them all at once. But it doesn't really matter with tools because it automatically does everything. Which is I find it's pretty useful, but so far I haven't found any problem with it. You may like ooh, yeah. See the exact same. So let's just put those tools there. Okay, so here's something that would be more realistic in a custom map setting. An example, say you're on an adventure and you're running through, or even in a tutorial world, and then you have to shoot the target. So, let's just let us aim, and I win diamonds. This contraption isn't the most complex. Let me just quick show you how it works. So when you first hit this trip wire, it's set. This is using say and then using the tar using to the target players. So this targets the nearest player, and then it says shoot the target at P, which in my case is Epic Man one one five. That's not really too complicated. And then same with the spawning. So give at P the nearest player, which is me, two six one, and that's I believe it's a bow. Yes. And then give me two six two, which are sixty four arrows, and then. The 64 corresponds with how many arrows I'm getting. It's just sort of like a review. And then with the wooden button, it activates. What do I get? It activates these two. It activates give me that it'll give Epic Man or at P 264, which stands for diamonds. 64, 64 diamonds, and that's simple. And then it says good shot at P or at Epic Man 115. Just a simple idea. So if you didn't actually hear, if you look into the text, 
Good shot, Epic Man 115. So, normally you may have this thing blocked off, but this can be used in custom maps as, say, for one thing I find it useful is just secretly put it in, and like, from a distance, if you snipe it, of course it would be much far back and it would be better hidden, but it could be used as like an easter egg or something and then you could get a reward, or it could be used as like a boss fight. But, there's, that's this episode of Command Block How To's. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and please stick around to my channel. I should be uploading the next episode of Nordcraft very soon, but otherwise, thanks for watching, and peace out.